This airport, Greenville Downtown, is a Class D airspace. And in Class D airspace, the visibility and cloud clearance rule that we're required to use for VFR is three statute miles visibility. That's the horizontal visibility we can see. And our distance from the clouds, we have to be at least 500 feet below the clouds, 1,000 feet above the clouds, and 2,000 feet beside the clouds. Now, in this illustration, this would represent the ocean, sea level, and our field elevation is 1,048 feet. So we're basically 1,000 feet above the ocean. When they report the base of the clouds, when you're obtaining your weather briefing, they give the base of the clouds in AGL above the ground. So the cloud bases are given in AGL, and we have to stay at least 500 feet below the clouds. If we're doing traffic pattern, we typically fly our traffic pattern between 800 or 1,000 feet above the ground. So if we flew our traffic pattern at 1,000 feet above the ground, for example, and we had to stay 500 feet below the clouds, then we need the reported ceiling to be at least 1,500 feet for us to remain VFR. Now, do keep in mind that when we're talking about the, the ceiling, we're talking about the lowest layer of a broken, overcast, or obscured layer of clouds.